Hello and welcome to this quick financial force accounting billing central demonstration on the different billing models supported by billing central. Here we can see I've made a mock contract and in this mock contract I have three contract line items. Each is for a different billing type. The first billing type is one off. This can be used to charge on a unit price and quantity basis to charge simply one off at the start of the contract. Here we can see the billing term is one time. When we've generated billing schedules for this contract, the first billing schedule will include the full price of this contract line item. For instance, here we're charging for hardware. The second contract line item is recurring fixed. Therefore, we are charging the same amount per each period that we want to charge. The period that we want to charge is set here in the charge term and billing term. The billing term defines how many billing schedules we want to create and at what frequency. Here we can see we're charging a unit price of £450 for one quantity. We can increase the quantity. We can also increase the unit price. The final contract line item is for recurring variable. Here we're selling the, the product of cloud data storage. This contract line item is charged on a monthly basis. However, it's charged per unit of usage. Say for instance, for cloud data storage, it's charged per gigabyte. And the way you'd do this is you'd go into the contract line item. And in here, you'd click on the related usage and click new. Say for instance, in the first month, they use a hundred gigabytes. You put in a date and then they'll be charged for that amount. Or perhaps the next month they may be using only 10 gigabytes. And then you'd put in the date and they'd be charged for only that amount. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration of the different billing models that are supported all within one billing contract.